One of the most common work requests pertaining to electronic differential pressure and pressure transmitters is to change the range. A range change automatically denotes calibration. The calibration may be done in the field or it may be done in the shop. We have previously categorized electronic transmitters by operating design. For example, motion balance, force balance, and strain gauge. For this lesson, we will select a motion balance model, a force balance model, and a strain gauge model. We will change the range and calibrate each type. Most of the techniques applied to changing the range of these samples can be applied to any manufacturer's models. Our first calibrations will be done in the shop. We will assume that we have a work request to change the range of this Westinghouse Veritrac 56 dp transmitter from 0 to 50 to 0 to 100 inches of water. We must determine if the present cell body can be calibrated to a 0 to 100 inch range. The manufacturer's general specification in the instruction manual shows these range limits for cell bodies. Note the 4 to 1 ratio between maximum and minimum span. The cell bodies are usually stamped with only the maximum span. This one is stamped 200 inches. Two hundred divided by four gives us a minimum span of fifty inches. Therefore, we may proceed to calibrate this one to zero to one hundred inches. We shall use a pneumatic calibrator to regulate the input and the Veritrac test set to measure the milliamp output of the transmitter. A 24 volt DC power supply is connected to the positive and negative terminal. Open the vent or remove the plug on the low side of the transmitter. Connect the pneumatic calibrator output to the high side. Plug the test set into the amplifier test jack. Don't forget to make a battery check on the test set. With zero pressure applied to the high side of the transmitter, and the test set selector at zero in the null section. Depress the red button on the test set and adjust the transmitter zero until there is no deflection on the null meter. Apply 100 inches of water pressure to the high side of the transmitter. With the null meter set at 100, adjust the span until there is no deflection on the null meter. Repeat the zero adjustment
and the span adjustment until both are correct. Intermediate outputs should be checked to verify that the input versus output relation of the transmitter is linear. The transmitter is now shop calibrated to 0 to 100 inches of water. It's a good practice to tag the transmitter with the new range. Now work exercise number one in your workbook. Next, we will change the range of our same 56 dB transmitter to 0 to 300 inches. This cell body is stamped for a maximum span of 200 inches. We will have to replace it. We can see here that the 0 to 200 slant 800 cell body is suitable for a 0 to 300 inch range. This is the proper cell body. It is stamped 800 inches. We shall proceed to replace the cell body. Disconnect the four wires that connect the amplifier to the measuring cell. Be sure to tag, make a note, or have access to the instruction book for proper replacement of the wires. Remove the two hexagonal nuts that hold the amplifier in place. And lift the amplifier out of the housing. Next, loosen these four bolts that fasten the housing to the bracket. Remove the two through studs next to the amplifier housing. Remove the amplifier housing brackets from the flanges. By turning counterclockwise, Unscrew the amplifier housing from the cell body. Be careful that the cell wires are not damaged. Remove the other two through studs. Separate the flanges from the body assembly. They may have to be tapped slightly to separate them. We must be careful that we do not damage the sealed diaphragms. An object such as a screwdriver can easily puncture them. Screw the 800 inch body assembly into the amplifier housing until the distance between the housing and the capsule is approximately 1.20 to 1.25 inches. Inspect the flange O-rings and secure new ones if any damage is evident. Install one O-ring in the groove in each flange. Place the flanges over the ends of the capsule. and install the two through bolts that are farthest away from the amplifier housing. Run the nuts down to where there is no slack 
but do not tighten. Now is the time to orient the amplifier housing as needed for the installation. Install the high and low side amplifier housing brackets by sliding under the bracket bolts. Ascertain that the high side bracket is on the high side of the body assembly. Tighten the bracket bolts only hand tight. Install the other two through studs. These go through the brackets as well as the flanges. Tighten all four through bolts alternately and evenly and a little at a time to 40 pounds torque. It is imperative that the through bolts be tightened properly before the housing bracket bolts are secured. Next, tighten the housing bolts. Make certain a pipe plug is inserted in the mounting bracket side of each flange. Reinstall the amplifier and connect the cell wires. The transmitter can now be calibrated from zero to 300 inches by a similar procedure to the one we used for calibrating to zero to 100 inches. Now work exercise number two in your workbook.